Right, uh, today I am back and I'm just going to show you how to do a pretty simple design pattern for a pretty, you know, a problem that I find occurs quite a lot for me. So I'm just going to run through basically what you don't want to do and how to do it better because it's Lisp, right? You do it the Lispy way, the better way. Although, probably do it in another language. Anyway, so imagine we have this problem. Uh, you've got a server and the user interacts with your server on some website or through a bot or something and they, they like to send commands and you need to grab the command they've executed and the argument and you need to then validate the arguments, okay? So that's basically the problem we're trying to solve. So in this case, what we're going to have for should we do let's do commands and validators so let's say how we will define commands so we're going to have a command so we're going to make a hash table and then we're going to do define root command and it's going to be the name the command is going to be stored under a key and the key uh, will be a keyword because I like keywords and then fun um, which could be like a lambda or a symbol or whatever. I'm just going to check the type of key and make sure it's a keyword. And I'm going to do set f get hash commands uh, key commands to fun. Right, so now we can associate a new command with uh, a new command in the hash table under a certain key so that the user would be able to invoke it. So basically it would look sort of like perhaps you got uh, something like this from the user's server, you know, invoke add and then they send one and two, right? So that's basically what I'm looking at. So we're gonna make a macro def called define command and what it does is take a key, it takes a uh, a name of args, so args name, and it takes a function. But in this case, we're going to do that automatically. So we're going to do new command uh, key and then lambda args name. And then we are going to do body bar or locally body actually but 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 you see what we're actually going to want to do here is have another i'm going to do or validate args which is going to be the name of our function for validating and the key will be key and then uh, args name so this is going to be all automatic when we define the command. So when you when a command is executed, right? So if we take a, if we define, I'll show you a command, define command, uh, add my add or something my add um, args name is just going to be args, and then we're going to do uh, what's it going to do? It's just going to do reduce. Oh, no, it's not. It's going to do, yeah, it's going to do reduce plus, and then it's going to do map car pass integer args. Because we know, we know that when we're working with a server, we have something look, that looks like one, two, three. In a situation, when we're in a situation where uh, the, uh, the server is, uh, <laughs> we're in a situation where we've got the command we want, right? So let's take a look at the command, the ha command's hash table. Our first one, we've got our function like this. Now, if we were to fun call that with uh, a list like uh, one, two, returns three, right? So now we also need to create validators. So we'll do basically the same thing here def parameter validator make hash table you don't have to use a hash table you, I a lot of the time I just use lists because lists are although they're like technically not big O 
faster, like, because they're big O-N, whereas uh, a hash table is, like, constant. Um, t in practice, up to about something like 26 characters or 26 elements, a list is faster for accessing, uh, compared to an array, anyway. Um, so we'll do defund new validator, which is key, and then fun, and basically we can just copy this and change this to be validator should actually be validators uh, uh, yeah we have then new validator um, yeah and then we can basically I mean it's pretty much the same as this Ooh. Except we're defining a validator now. And instead of this, we just want locally body. Do we want locally body? We don't want new command, we want new validator. Now if we want to define a command, this command is going to not work until we have defined our validator. Our validator is going to be under the same uh, key as the command. And we are going to do map C pass integer args, right? So in this case, we know it's correct. So if we check our validators, got our one validator under my add. If we fun call this with a list of one, two, that will return one, two. So we know it's fine. If we do this with a list of A, it's going to error. Okay, so we know for a fact that this won't work. So if we were to now, let's now find a way of invoke. Let's make a way of invoking a command. Define invoke command uh, key, and then we have args, and we will do let fun get hash commands hash oh always make that mistake key commands and then fun uh, fun call fun args if fun error no fun associated with key now if we do invoke command my add with junk and string, right? So it's failed. It's failed the validation that we had with our new command. So now if we want to create, let's say we wanted to create a new command that the user can interact with, but this time it's uh, like subtract or something we used to do. Find validator. In this case, it's going to be exactly the same. Ooh. It's going to be exactly the same as this. And then define command. Uh, I guess it's the same again. Uh, but instead of reduce plus, we do reduce minus. Now we've just found a way of very quickly adding new commands, new validators into uh, so that, yeah, so that if we want to make a new command that the user can interact with, we can, uh, all we have to do is define these two, define the new command and the command automatically checks the validator under the same name. Obviously you don't have to do that. You could add a new key that's like validator name and then you could share them. We could have something like this, validator name, and, and here instead of having key, you have validator name, and then you would only need, you could just have, this could just be called integers, get rid of that, get rid of this, get rid of this, define command, uh, did I, uh, uh, Validator name is integer, and then this one is integer, and then 
invoke the command my add again. No validator found. Oh, that's because. No validator found. Where's commands? Did I make a mistake? My sub, my add. Oh, not commands, validators, sorry. Uh, my sub, my add, integer. Uh, all validate args. Uh, oh, silly me. Defund validate args key key args fun cool Ooh. basically need this again <laughs> funny how it works like that and then uh, fun get hash instead of commands we just do validators no fun associated key now we could try again junk in string a all right so it's errored now if we want to improve this even more so that we can give really nice feedback to the user, we could define a condition. Um, in this case, we're going to define a condition called failed validation. Um, and we'll just, what's it going to fail on that today? We'll just have failure message, accessor failure message. In it arg failure message type string that'll do we'll just have just have it like that and then um so where's validate args validate args is here so in this case we're actually going to want to now uh Uh, right, it's just, it gets a little bit more complicated when you want to do this. So now we have a validator. We want to validate args like this, but when we create a validator, let's define validator. We now actually have to associate a, we need a more complicated list, right? So in this case, let's have list fun and desk description description is a string for when things fail um, to find validator new validator fun description yeah. new validator key args name oh no we'll have it here description key fun description and then so we now when we go to validate the arguments if fun oh we actually just want we do want that no fun with key ideally you would have like a format string or something or another another special condition the condition would say uh, no no validator found or uh, be a, a condition of type uh, uh, well, you'll yeah. Uh, fail to find um, fail to find validator or fail to find function. This would be a special condition, and you'd report this to your users. So they know basically how they cocked up. Um, so now we're defining our new validator like this. We have to find validator, but we now need a description for integer for when it fails. So we have uh, not um, uh, one or more of the arguments are not integer or can not be converted to integers right and now invoke command fun cool fun so we have validate args so in this case we now do can we will do a handler case we will catch all conditions. Condition C. Oh. And then we can do error. 
failed validation and then a failure message uh, validate args we didn't modify validate args key it's not fun it's list in this case list fun cool fun args fun cool uh, get f fun from list in fact that should work um, error failure message uh, right well that doesn't work either because that doesn't tell us oh no it does we can do condition failure message uh, get f get hash validator name uh, validators get f and then just we call it desk didn't we yeah I think that should work um, and that should if we just do it like that get that like that and now if we invoke the command oh we obviously one or more of the arguments cannot be it's not of type all function symbol did I not recompile it variable C oh yeah you're right the variable C is defined and not used um, oops that's because basically this should really have uh, where is it this here should really have like a, a condition signaled slot or something some like that like this is just an example of how you can use this um, validate args get hash key validators list fun cool get f list fun so what's the problem ooh that's why it's because it's meant to be if list let's try now failed validation was signaled uh, if we wanted to make it even more even better we could do Def method print object. I think it's so uh, it says uh, obj failed validation stream and then print uh, obj stream and format stream failed dot and then we just do failure message Ob. I think that's right so if we do this again one or more of the arguments cannot be converted to integers say so now you're working on providing information to the client side uh, every command they sent would go through your invoke command which is obviously exceptionally primitive in this case but uh, you would then catch any condition like say here you have failed validation where you could just do something like this define condition you could have uh, argument uh, you could have command system system condition like this doesn't do anything and then you can make this command system condition oh that's because I just let's redefine it um, then here you have fun call you can do ooh, ooh, handler case or restart case or something or handler bind or whatever then you can do what did I just call it command system condition command system condition C you're catching it and then in this case say you have a stream you have a socket or something you would uh, you would just basically write your condition or format it however you want to the uh, user in this case see if you were to redirect if you were to like if all you were to do was to rebind like lexly rebind standard out you could then force standard out you could grab it and then send it off to the user so they can see exactly what they've done wrong with the commands, like uh, in this case, we're trying to invoke a command that exists. In this one, we have no fun associated with key. Why don't we do it? Let's. We're going to do it right. We're going to do it. Might as well do it right. Hey, so to 
fine condition. I know uh, uh, missing association or something is command system condition. And this time it's key. Accessor key. In it are key type keyword and then uh, looked in. Accessor looked in. In it arg looked in. Type string. Right? So now we have this and then we can do instead of this error, we'll do well actually yeah, we'll do error uh, missing association and uh, we looked in validators key is key and here well this is basically the same thing oh, for fly man. Forgetting how to use Emacs already. Oh, wrong way. And then you do. It's not validators this time. It's commands. Key. It's still key. And now condition missing association was signaled. And then obviously you would do this again. But not with failed validation, but with uh, missing association. Um, ooh, couldn't find key for, uh, couldn't find key A for. So what have we got? We've got uh, key obj and then for looked in object and now couldn't find key add for oh I said for I should put in and we probably want to string up case this too so it's uh, so it looks nice couldn't find key add in commands now when the user adds a command does a command, I don't know, subtract or something. They think, oh, we're going to try subtract, which doesn't exist. We both know it doesn't exist. And then they do it. Sorry, you've just told them on the surface, oh, look, this command doesn't exist. Right, you see? And the point is, instead of just having one big old case statement, uh, execute command, where you have like command, args, and then you have to go through and you have your case command case command and, and every time you want to add a new command you've got like a, a my add or something and then you have your function or you, you have your validator and you call your function instead of doing this over and over and over again inside your one big function you've created a domain specific language that means the the definition of new commands like so to find command uh, I don't know what we're going to call it uh, string add or whatever or string or string con uh, args uh, we don't have a validator for strings well we know it's a string so what if we just have a default validator that does nothing to find validator nothing args nothing t so it will always return true oh i should have added a declare ignorable in there um to find validator declare ignorable args name same on this one actually declare oh no that won't always get used um so yeah uh you can add this and you just do nothing because you don't need validation. It's always a string. Do concatenate Ooh. string uh, args. I don't actually know if that's going to work. Put command string con. I guess 
A is not of type character. Uh, I think I might have to do apply concatenate string args for that to work. Yes, okay, that's why. But you see now you have a really nice way of defining a hundred different commands without having to jam them all in a case and it looks really nice and uh, my personal, you know, this is personally how I attempt to solve problems like this and I have solved in one of my, my most serious project that I have made has uh, solved it, solved the problem basically, many problems in this sort of way and in very easily ext extensible way. Anyway, uh, if you appreciate uh, this, or you know, if you have any questions, just uh, leave a comment. All right, cheers.